I think of our labs as the engine of innovation for the DoD. We have a very large scientist and engineer workforce. They want to do something that impacts the nation's security. They want to do something that helps, and that's what draws them into the, the laboratory. We kind of get a taste for everything here, from basic research that you might think of you do at a university, all the way up to an applied system that we put onto a plane or a ship. There's really nothing else like it uh, in the world. People are always the greatest asset that we can have in the Department of Defense. It is the people that bring their, their diverse backgrounds to solve these problems. I work on F-18 weapons testing. I work in the field of satellite communications. And I specialize in mathematical psychology. We're able to look at things that take place in the real world and recreate them here and see how things are viewed through a, through a soldier's eyes. I'm not just working on designing one bolt for one platform. I'm actually working with the entire aircraft. It's just a great, encouraging environment that I think fosters the best work possible. They took me to a laboratory, they opened the door and they said, this is your laboratory. And they allowed me the freedom to move forward and do all of these um, great discoveries. You're surrounded by fabulous people who are really just interested in promoting and, and forwarding science. The Division of Experimental Therapeutics has produced every major anti-malarial drug that has been used in the world since World War II. We wouldn't be doing the basic research if someone already knew what it was. So we're really pushing the limits and trying to understand what no one has understood so far. We get to work on really cool projects and really cool technologies. And more than that, you are part of a family. You're part of a network. I have the best team, hands down. We do it as a team. Um, you're never alone. If you need help or if you have a question, all you have to do is reach your hand out. It's like everybody's actually firing on all cylinders and they're all working for the same goal, and so you get to be a part of that. I wanted to go back to school and get a PhD in electrical engineering. My supervisors uh, encouraged me to apply for scholarship. The SMART program actually gives you a stipend to go to school, and they pay for classes. It's kind of like a scholarship, and then you have a guaranteed job. There, there's no, no better thing to have a guaranteed job when you come out. My education's further, and other classes related to my field, they don't just pay for them, they'll tell me about them and send me to them. There are great job opportunities, great opportunities to serve your country. They're looking for bright minds that can look at new ways to solve problems. I'm not in the military, but I am serving my country in some way, shape, or form. It's exciting to be able to do something that might actually help. I will say three words, learning, challenging and rewarding. I walk in every day and I see the American flag backdropped against the sunrise. I found a job that I can see where it makes a difference. It's a great feeling to be helping the country out and being able to do it in your own way. We are looking for the best and brightest, but we want the best and brightest from the diversity of backgrounds, whether it's from uh, educational backgrounds, uh, cultural backgrounds. A cooler like this, one just like this is flying right now in space and I get to handle it, I get to design it. Well, the larger that we can make those structures, the less energy it takes to move them around and get them where they need to go. It actually takes a lot of imagination to think of ways in which you can replace a specific atom with another one. The labs are very important because without the labs, we would not have a lot of the technology that we're using today. Working for the Department of Defense, it's, it's really up to you how far you can take it and what you want to do with these really challenging problems.